So I believe what is more important than a regulatory authority because they would do nothing is for residents' welfare associations to become wise to what is needed. The other thing you need to see is when you see an ad for a beautiful apartment, do you find a mention of water anywhere? Does, they, does the ad say anywhere that we ensure your water security? No way. I haven't seen yet till today, not a single ad. And I have talked to people because my son is wanting to buy apartments. So what is the water security built into your building for uh, the user, the owner? Water security. Uh, what is water security? Is you don't know. Sorry, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Finally, Tata Housing. He said, sir, can I get back to you? I said, yeah, please. So I got an email saying that they have, it's a huge project in Bangalore. They have 60 borders. They have 24 hour supply because they have generators. They have a sewage treatment plant which operates 24 hours a day. And they have a reverse osmosis plant which also operates 24 hours a day. So I said, all right, what if all your 50, 60 borewells run dry? He said, sir, can't happen, sir. I said, I have seen things like that happening. In that case, what will I do? Well, sir, that is not really our problem. I said, you bet it is your only problem. I want water security, you're not able to guarantee it for me. So, this is something we have to keep in mind. The other thing is, which I'm finding, as I go along being called by associations, the water that today you take for granted as fresh water is no <coughs> Today, I increasingly find, when I get samples tested, there is traces of COD and BOD in what is called fresh borewell water. Now, this is a very sure indication that sewage contamination is beginning to get widespread. For the simple reason that you have absolutely no regulation on the way septic tanks are built, soap pits are built. I have actually seen a septic tank built in a place where an apartment is there bang in the middle of an area with all individual bungalows. And uh, the borewell, very close to the Wall, boundary wall of this building. Next door was a house, and that house is getting built. I see that he's excavated, he's put bricks with gaps between them, and he just cemented so the bricks don't fall apart. Puts a RCC cover, and he says, This is my septic tank. I said, What are they doing? He said, No, it's the water go through the soil. I said, It's likely to contaminate your own borewell. He said, No, I don't have a borewell. I said, but your neighbor's borewell. He said, that's his borewell, not mine. <laughs> the other thing all of you people were interacting with earlier people is, you take for granted that you're going to get fresh water. Let me assure you, it's not going to happen. In the next three to four years, you're going to find every tanker of water you buy has got COD, VOD marketing present. It's going to smell. So what are you worrying? I mean, what are you saying? Being so, feeling so, what shall I say, uh, safe about it nothing safe about it. You're going to have a situation where the human race has to probably evolve to be able to consume sewage and survive. <laughs> the other thing I must tell you is, uh, what, one other reason why I must endorse remote harvesting is that today in East Bangalore, I believe you need to go to as deep as 1,250 or more feet to hit water. When you go deeper and deeper, the kind of water you get has got so much tedious total results on it, it's not fit for any use. And treating it is going to be a very expensive process. Leave alone the fact that pumping it out on such depth <coughs> will require a pump with 15 to 20 horsepower motors so that power consumption. <laughs> it's foolish to go so recharge your ground water, let the water, it improves the water quality. The other problem is I've seen so many apartment complexes where there's a reverse osmosis plant installed and a water softening plant installed, where the waste water from these two come into the sewage treatment plant. And the waste waters have dissolved solids of several thousand parts per million. Now there is one problem with wastewater treatment getting loaded with TPS. That once that TPS level crosses 15,000 parts per million, this process of microbial action stops. So, so, although I work for a company that manufactures all this, today I tell people for heaven's sake avoid buying 
softeners, lowers of Moses plants, etc. If you will give your water to a quality, by consistent rainwater harvesting, where it is within BIS 10,000 standard, use it. So just filtration 